Hi, you guys. Long time no hands. It is November 23rd. It's Friday. And I'm here to share some layouts. Oh, you guys, what's up with this new YouTube? Now, if you leave a comment and I don't get right back to you, that's because every time I sign into YouTube, it takes me uh, 15 minutes to get where I'm going. I'm better this week than I was last week, but I'm still struggling to do the whole YouTube thing. Plus, I tried to upload a probably about five or six different videos and it just kept processing, processing, processing for hours and days. I finally just threw in the towel and I was so worried that with the new YouTube, I would lose some of my best people that I sub to. Um, I mean, I really, really, really look forward to some videos. Uh, Donna, Scrap Challenged, Aren't You Glad, Laura Loves Lace, One Happy Crafty Chick. I mean, I could go on. Uh, M. McKent, uh, Gina Beth. I, I feel like, I know I'm forgetting some of my favorites. Anyway, th I mean, those are some of my favorites, but I have probably like 20 people that I subscribe to, if I see, oh, see what I mean? Marilyn Maid. Hi, Marilyn. Oh my gosh, I so love her cards. Um, and, and, and I have more, believe me. There's like 20 people that I sub to, and if I see they have a video up, I cannot wait to get to it. Uh, MMDO112800, Rashida. Hi, Rashida. Ronnie Sue Scrapper. I, I mean, I could go on, and as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll think, oh my gosh, I forgot to say my all time favorite. Giddy for scrapbooking. There's just so many people that I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they're not going to bother to keep up with this new YouTube. You know, I just don't like the fact that they are insisting that our names are put out there. I could care less, but, you know, if they need our real name, fine, but they don't, I don't like that there's, you know, they're going to put it on YouTube. Is that the story or no? Maybe they just want our real names and our weight and height and what floor is our blue bathroom on for themselves. If that's the case, fine. But, you know, to put it on the internet with addresses and phone numbers, that's just not cool, YouTube. I don't understand it. I do understand them wanting to cut down on spam and nastiness. I'm all about that. But... Keep the information private. Promise us, if we tell you our blood type, you're not going to put it on a blog somewhere, right? There's an idea. I also have to say, why are you fixing something that's not broke? Who would have ever, and, and I'll get off my soapbox in a minute, who would have ever have dreamed that something like YouTube would do so well? I would have never have dreamed that YouTube, an online social network, would become so important to me. I mean, you're going to go changing it. This is my two cents. And, you know, it's going to be another MySpace. I mean, remember MySpace? I wasn't on MySpace, but, uh, you know, my sisters were, and... Then, when they started to do all these updates and let's make it better, people went to Facebook. I think the problem is that you have no choice. They're insisting. It's making people mad, whether they're 13 or, you know, 93. So, it gets under people's skins. Anyway, I love YouTube. 
I hate to be all down and negative on it, but if you're listening, YouTube, fix it, please, please. I don't want to lose anybody that I watch. You know, I appreciate my subscribers. I really do. Because it gives me a little jolt. I ain't lying. When I, you know, get on there and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I have like over 1,100 subbies. And whenever I get on there and even two more people have subbed to me, I go into a little stupor. I'm like... I never thought that 10 people would watch my videos. I'm not kidding. I'm not just saying that. Because I thought, eh, my lighting's bad. I'm not doing makeup. Nobody's going to watch my videos. It, it, I had no art class. Who's going to watch and want to see my layouts? So, stupor. That's all I can say. Let's get busy before I take this long video and you don't even get to hear it. Anyway, before I forget or anything, I hope all of you have a most wonderful Thanksgiving or holiday for my Canadian friends. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Layout time. This is uh, Halloween layouts. And uh, Nate. My grandson is in Boy Scouts. He's seven, in case this is the first time you've ever watched my video. And he was at our house for his Halloween party at Boy Scouts. Finally, I get to step in and act like his mother. It's hard um, not being in control of everything, isn't it? I mean, I hear about, oh, you know, we had a party at school, and I'm like, what did your mom send in? Because I used to really love being a room mom. That's a lie. When I was room mom, I complained. Nobody else send in what I asked them for. Why won't somebody help me? I complained, but I did enjoy it, and now that I look back, I realized that I really did enjoy it. So I'm missing getting to do those things for Nate. So anyway, for his Boy Scouts Halloween party, he was here with Dad, you know, because my son lives here. And when Nate comes to spend time with his dad, which is every weekend, um, I'm here. So I got to take care of the Halloween treats. This is a picture I made Mummy cupcakes and then just orange cupcakes you know orange frosting chocolate cupcakes with sprinkles mmm sprinkles rice crispy treats colored orange with you know yellow and red food coloring and then I put candy corn in it these are nutter butter cookies dipped into white chocolate by Godiva and then the mouth is a chocolate M&M, and I used little mini chocolate morsels for the eyes. The kids loved these. They actually bought the tray back, and there were cupcakes and mummy cupcakes left. I figured they'd go first, but all of the ghouls, the little ghosties, were gone. Very easy to make. Now, you all probably know this, but if you have little ones... A great Halloween game to play with kids if you are like a room mother for Halloween is I bought toilet paper which was a lot cheaper in 1987-86 when my kid was in kindergarten first grade but I gave like all the kids split up into groups of two each group got two rolls of toilet paper that's going to cost you a fortune now and it was the cheap stuff believe me and one of them was the mummy and the other was dr frankenstein dr frankenstein had to wrap up his mummy and whoever got their mummy wrapped up first was the winner kids really love that and it was funny I wish I would taken pictures of that back then anyway just a little idea I know when I was room mom I was always stumped for games to play with the kids that was age appropriate I know another thing that always went over big so I'd let them decorate their own cookies or cupcakes and I would just color some vanilla frosting put it in 
freezer bags, not just lunch bags. Lunch bags, like the little snack bags and stuff, they're not as durable as a freezer bag. So I would make up a whole bunch of different colored frostings, put them in the little freezer bags, and let them decorate their own cupcakes. They loved it. And you would think it's messy, but it wasn't. I'd take some M&Ms, sprinkles, Red Hots, licorice, and let them go to town. Kept them busy for a long time, and they got to eat their treat. Okay, guys, first layout. You probably can't tell this, but it's that, um, oh, it's like a dotted Swiss background. This is Thickers. This is called Maple, I think, or Elm. It's the name of a tree. Uh, these little die-cut stickers are from Cosmo Cricket. I can't believe I remember that. These are come from like one of the Kane Company ephemera bags from like three years ago. I couldn't tell you what the paper is behind here, but you'll see. I just cut off the edges of the black, stuck this under there, and put a little trim of gingham on here, and away you go. Uh, the whole Halloween season. I walked around here singing, this is Halloween, 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 this is Halloween. Oh my gosh, I was driving my own self crazy. By two days after Halloween, everyone in my house was walking around going, this is Halloween, Halloween. You know that song from uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, hope I don't get copyrighted on that. So, there's that... Uh, I, I told you everything. My journaling reads, Mama made these treats for Nate's Boy Scout party. Nutter Butter Ghost, Rice crispy Candy Corn Treats, and Mommy Cupcakes. Mmm, good. And I was showing this picture or layout to Nate. And I said, now, when you are really old and you have your own kids, you can show them the treats Momo made for you. And he said, I'm going to make those treats for my kids because they were good. Gosh, don't that just touch, touch your heart? Anyway, I drew on these little uh, notes with my Signo Uniball Gel Pen broad. I'll zoom in. I glued all my die cuts on with uh, Ranger's glossy accents just to make sure they didn't come off. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this is yellow cardstock. I took a plate and cut my circle out. These clouds are from Bella Boulevard. I can't even believe I remember that. These are the Storyteller uh sticky alphabets. This is Glitz. These are from right on the tip of my tongue. I cut it out from a 12 by 12. I can't remember, guys. But this company always puts out a real glittery, thick cardstock collection. I might remember. Anyway, this is the boys. Nate was Batman, and this is two of his little buddies. He couldn't, he wasn't really sure on the one's name, so I just put, did you hear the one about the zombie, Batman, and the Boy Scout? Because that's, you know, it's the three of them, and it brought that joke to mind. This is just from one of those K & Company ephemera packs. Really easy to do. I'll zoom in. Oh, that little flare is from two peas in a bucket. I think it's one of their exclusives. I so love the storyteller font, the cursive one. And that's by Webster's Pages. Let's go to the next one. Here you'll see I have a double page layout. I use just that cheap white cardstock smooth from HSN, but I doubled it up. I just don't like a flimsy 
uh, cardstock for my backgrounds. I used those overlays from crepe paper. I forget which one it is, but it seems that every collection now has these overlays. Do not forget to take the film covering off of these things. Because if I wouldn't have heard that on a YouTube video, I probably would have never have used these overlays because it makes them really foggy, fuzzy. And trying to get them off, not easy. What I ended up doing is taking my utility knife by Martha Stewart and just slicing the top of it in the back just a little bit to like put some air under there then it made it a little easier to peel off you'll see these um, acetate die cuts uh, they're from an ephemera pack but I don't know who it is the red letters crepe paper these letters Kelly Perky which you can only pick up I think at Simon Says Stamp uh, if you're on Facebook with me, you know I was complaining about Simon Says Stamp. They're just getting so long on getting their stuff out of their warehouse. Once they mail something, it takes me two days to get it. But getting it out of the warehouse is cray-cray. I mean, I was waiting like over 12 days to get something shipped. And I just don't think that's right. Um, It's a big staff. I mean, like, there's eight plus workers, at least that's what it says on their website. It's not like they're a mom and pop shop, you know, and the kids are sick, or they're sick, or they were on vacation. I just don't understand why it takes so long. And if they are selling things that's not in stock, cool, good for them. Just let us know, right? I mean, once I contacted them, you know, they said, okay, we're going to get it out and stuff. Um, I bought something from them by way of eBay, and I had to finally file a claim because after 12 or 14 days, they still hadn't shipped my product. And the funny thing is they had this stamp set listed on eBay, but it was out of stock on the website. Now, I should have used my common sense, if I have any left, and not ordered it. But I thought, well, maybe they want to sell it on eBay because they can get more money for it. You know, with the shipping and all that. So I went on and ordered it. It was that Avery L. stamp of, hello, I am. You know what I'm talking about? Really hard to find for a while there. So I ended up getting it right from the AveryL.com website. So cute. Anyway, back to the layout, double page. I used my stencil to do these bricks. That is Memento Lux ink pad. And then after I like did the stencil thing, it didn't look right because the bricks looked like they were floating. So I took my little Tim Holtz thing that goes like this, you know, like that Velcro pad thing. And I dipped it into some gray fog by Memento and just colored it in. These are acetate. This is a little spider I picked up. Pack of 10 of them from Target. And this came from my friend Laddie. Hi, Laddie. Congratulations, Mommy. And Laddie is Miss Chica's One here on YouTube more ephemera pack, ephemera pack. I stamped the date on using Technique Tuesday. I have it somewhere here, but it's just the numbers. Yeah, it's their stamp set, but it's just numbers, and I really like that thing. Some stickers, candy corn, and see, I wrote behind here. The Boy Scout team sure set up a nice event for the boys. Here the Den Mother helps you with the scary box. I wrote that on the paper and then put this over the top of it. Oh, this came from Letty too. I love those things. Bless her heart. She sent those to me a while back. Everything is ephemera pack. These little words up here that go uphill, 
darn it. It's not as bad as it looks on here because this one's sticking up higher than this. But those are from that little Tim Holtz chit-chat uh, folder of words. Kelly Perky, I be loving Kelly Perky's uh, alphabets. I do wish that she put some numbers on on the alphabet sheet, but she's a smart businesswoman. She puts letters on one sheet and numbers on another. I guess I could zoom in. Oh, I cut the grass out using my Fisker's border punch. I'm really, really, really trying to use old stuff, new stuff. Those arrows came from two peas in a bucket. And it says, use caution, Nate. I do not think there are little fuzzy bunnies in that box. There you go. Let's go on to the next one. Now look at me. So fancy with my Project Life styled scrapbooking. What took me so long to hop on the Project Life train? Huh? I mean, I'm getting so much more done. I'm using more products. I like it. This is another Halloween or fall layout. And I got this idea right here from Arn You Glad here on YouTube. And it's like one of her most recent videos since I'm all fancy schmancy now and I know how to put links down below. That's what I'll do. I'll put a link down below. Maybe, maybe I should... I should put a disclaimer in because I might not know how with the new YouTube. They might want to know my weight if I do that. I'm going to get kicked off YouTube, so I'm going to shut up. Thickers, Thickers, I don't know the names. Here's those little chicks from Studio Calico. This is from Etsy. And what's the woman? Shelly is the woman's name. I can remember the person who sells them, but not her business name. Life in Bits and Pieces? Is that it? I think so. This is a 5 by 7 That's Nady taking a walk through the pumpkin patch. I screwed this layout up. I was so mad at myself, like I was almost done, and look, it's all cockeyed. And I've been so trying not to do crooked things. And sure enough, I lay this down and it stuck like cement and it was crooked. So I had to do something over here to try to balance it out. So you'll see this is like um, ribbon on a spool. Uh, I bought that at, gosh, I, I don't know. But I used it to wrap around presents a few years ago and I got red and green and then this craft color. And I thought that kind of looked like corn stalks, but not really. Anyway, there are some some scary eyes. These little leaves are like table splatter. Pick those up at the dollar store. Here's a Jolie sticker, Jolie sticker, Jolie sticker. October afternoon sticky keys or whatever they're called. This is from one of those boy collections. I typed up my journaling. This is also from the same collection. I typed up my journaling. It says, every year you and dad really know how to celebrate the coming of fall. You go to pumpkin patches, walk corn mazes, and shake hands with skeletons. Here you are with Uncle Kevin and Aunt Blair at Blooms and Berries Fall Festival. That's Uncle Kevin on the right side of the video. The photo is from October 12th of 2013 and you're seven years old. What I remember from this picture is that Dad came home to tell me the t-shirt I put you in had a hole in it. He said he didn't notice it until you were all at Blooms and Berries. 
That made me feel good that he noticed the hole and that he didn't want you wearing a shirt with a hole in it. You guys, sometimes I swear, the things that my son would pick out for Nate to wear, he don't do it for himself. Oh, no, he's a sharp dresser. But then he just, like, throws Nate in anything. Not all the time. Sometimes. Most of the time, you know, I've always taught him, you may only be able to buy two shirts and two pairs of pants. But if you buy two pairs of pants and two shirts, buy good shirts and pants and take care of them. I think clothing matters. I'm sorry. I still love to see a shirt with creases on the arms. Uh, clothes.